A criminal justice reporter here in the United States, Shane Bauer, recently published an investigation into solitary confinement at Pelican Bay State Prison in California. It's a place where inmates are taken when they're considered too dangerous for other prisons. Our correspondent, Clara Ibarra, has the story. Más de 80,000 presos Currently, se encuentran en aislamiento de cualquier interacción humana, excepto de sus propios guardianes, por al menos 22 horas al día en las cárceles de Estados Unidos. Según estadísticas del Departamento de Corrección y Rehabilitación de California, los prisioneros de la cárcel Pelican Bay pasan en promedio 7.5 años en confinamiento solitario en celdas de 2 por 3 metros sin luz natural. One person I met spent, uh, had not seen a tree in 12 years and there were people that spent 30 or 40 years in prison in that prison in solitary confinement and you know many of them actually hadn't committed like violent infractions in prison they were there uh, because of their association with other people uh, they were there because of certain books that they were reading uh, these could have been academic books about the black panthers uh, even things like Machiavelli's The Prince was used as evidence of, of gang affiliation or writings about African American history was considered uh, gang ideology and, and was enough to put people away for decades. We're in a uh, shoe cell right now. The inmate is outside. This is where he sleeps when there's another cellmate that sleeps up there. It's uh, Pretty bleak, I think. There's um, no natural light. Why don't they have windows? Here? This way it was designed. But why? I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain that. Uh, inmates come out to you know get some uh, some exercise. There's more room to run out here. Prisoners only get an hour in this concrete dog run every day. They're, they're protected from the rain during the winter, and it's uh, monitored with a video camera by the control booth. Many people in this country are in solitary confinement for years or decades, and they're released with absolutely no support network. And the nature of solitary confinement, it's kind of a microcosm for our whole prison system, is that it severs people's ties with their families. And people come out with, with nothing and no one. And many people say, as much as all I wanted was to get free, once I was freed, I just wanted to go back to prison because it was so terrifying on the outside. Para salir del confinamiento solitario por otros medios, Un prisionero debe ser declarado legalmente miembro no activo de una pandilla, opción que hoy no llega ni al 1%, o colaborar con las autoridades y delatar a los integrantes de las pandillas, un procedimiento que al interior de las cárceles puede ser mortal. Yo soy Clara Ibarra, con José Monsalve, Telesur, Nueva York.